Welcome to Sunny's, the car wash factory. In conjunction with this training video, please reference each component's owner's manual, available at sunnysdirect.com, before performing any installation, repair, or maintenance procedure. Each manual details specific requirements and settings necessary for the safe operation and maintenance of your car wash equipment. Okay, now let's talk about our 901 front to back mitter. 901 front to back mitter is our most common mitter, top washing equipment that we have. Um, it's, able, it's, it's real simple, it runs with a uh, two horsepower motor with a, um, a worm reduction gearbox. This is our newest version where we have our Hera direct drive gearbox. We do this because almost all of our new customers and all of our new equipment is being built and shipped out with a variable frequency drive on the mitter. The, the things the VFD drive does on a mitter is it gives it a nice gentle ramp up. We can start it up over two or three seconds and give it a nice easy motion. Same thing when we stop it, we let it coast to a stop so we're not having any shock or impact. It'll extend the life of the mitter, the baskets, the bearings dramatically if you do that. If you want the old style with the Delrin coupling, we still offer that as well with this new Hera gearbox. And the Hera gearbox is 92% 92, 92 efficient. It comes with synthetic gear oil. It won't require changing the oil in your lifetime. Um, you may have a seal leak, you may have a shaft seal leak that you have to do something with it, replenish it, but that's it. Uh, we check the fluid when it comes in to make sure it's full. Uh, we send it to you with a little red mark on that, on that uh, fill uh, plug to identify that. Um, but other than that there, that's all it needs. Um, we're able to run this emitter with either cloth, microclean, or Ecofi. Um, the cloth rods are real easy to use, 9 16 wrench on the ends, undo the bolt, lower the rod, change the cloth. You got to inspect your cloth on a regular basis. The cloth is really easy to take care of. Uh, you may sometimes need to clean it due to mildew, due to uh, some buildup from soaps, detergents, or chemistry, uh, water. Uh, easy to take them off, high pressure clean them. Sometimes you can do that while the unit's running. If the cloth gets frayed and you're not ready to change it, the best thing to do is come with a pair of scissors and cut the frayed ends off. Easy to maintain it that way, okay? On the mitter itself, there's two bearings. Everything else is plastic UHMW bearings, two bearings on the rod end. I'm gonna pull the basket back for a minute um, so you can see it from there. But the bearings are up here on the pitman arm. Um, there's two bearings, one on each end. They're rotational. We'd like to grease them on a weekly basis. Um, so during your cleaning program, it's good to have the guys go up on the top of the mitter with a ladder, safety, make sure it's turned off, locked out, tagged out, and go up there and put two squirts of grease into each one of those rod end bearings. If the rod end bearings fail or they start to go bad, you'll get a clicking noise. If you want to inspect your bearings to make sure that they're good or bad, the easiest way to do it is to let the, the, the mitter wind down to a center position and then try to move it back and forth. And when you do that, look at your bearings themselves. If you see play in the bearings, that's when you'll see it. When the mitter is all the way to one side, it's loaded to, the, to one side, and you're never gonna be able to move it with that wet cloth. The only way you're gonna see that kind of play is to move it when it's down. The little movement we see here is in the worm gear of the motor, and that's normal. So we're not having any play there. The other place to look is when you move it is on the bearings and the shafts themselves. If they get sloppy, you'll see it there when it's in the rest position. Other than that, there isn't a whole lot to do to this, gear, this unit, but keep it clean. And by that, we mean regular maintenance, clean the frame, clean the aluminum. When the guys get a chance, go up top, high pressure clean, anything off of those bearings, off the arms, pitman arm, try not to fill the motor with water. So besides the heavy maintenance and the cleaning, we also have some spray nozzles up here. Depending on where this mitter is in the tunnel, you could be running reclaimed water or fresh water. Reclaimed water, as you know, you're gonna to have to inspect those nozzles to make sure that they're clean. Um, the nozzles could be taken down, um, unclogged with a small tip cleaner and put back in again. But uh, general maintenance makes you take a look at those there to keep make sure that they're, they're clean and flowing real well. Uh, we like to keep water on the mitter at all time. It keeps the rinse, rinse any dirt we pick up off a car or off a roof and helps to keep it clean so that every customer gets a nice clean wash. So um, again, two grease fittings, gearbox oil, shaft seals, listen for noises. When it's at rest, give it a, mo give it, give it a pull back and forth, check for wear on the bearings on the, both the rod ends and on the frame itself. Clean the nozzles, clean and maintain the cloth from freight ends, and you'll keep this in good work and order and give yourself, your customers a good, clean car and make them happy customers, ready to come back for another one. All right, let's go take a look at the next piece. Thank you for watching this maintenance overview video. Please visit sunnysdirect.com and review the complete owner's manual before attempting any installation, maintenance, or repair of this component. There you'll learn necessary procedures, settings, and other considerations required for the safe operation of your car wash equipment.